Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at basic shell provisioning in Vagrant and we'll be covering how to configure the, the, the Vagrant box on the installation so we'll be telling it to update the software and also up install the Nginx web server software as well that will allow us to see how provisioning works and to actually have a, a sort of visual guide um, of, of when it happens and, and how it happens. So I hope this video will help you out. If you've got any feedback, please let me know in the comments or message me. And if you were happy with the video, if it did help you out, then, then please like it, share it, subscribe, that kind of thing. I'm really enjoying creating these videos. Now, I've left a lot of information in the, doc, uh, the description below, so you'll find links, you'll find um, all the code we use in the video, all the commands we use in the video, and a little bit more information as well about what Vagrant is and what provisioning is. So, thank you for watching, and I hope the video helps you out. So I'm just starting off with um, an empty directory, as you can see here, and the first command I'll be running is the vagrant init command. That will generate the vagrant file where we can edit our configuration. And I'm going to run the sudo nano uh, command, so the nano text editor, and then vagrant file. And that allows us to jump straight into the, the vagrant config, and we're going to jump into the config block here and the line we want to be focusing on is the box um, so the config.vm.box line here so I'm going to run ubuntu nice trusty 64 and that's the um, ubuntu 14.0 um, 64-bit trusty Taha um, system there you can use other um, boxes or or images if you like um, but I just happen to have this one installed so we'll, we'll focus on this one for now um, you know do bear in mind if you do use other um, another system um, then the commands we're using today will be the Ubuntu specific ones so you may need to change them depending on your system now this next line isn't needed but just to show you um, that this 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 provisioning does work I'm going to set up a static IP address on a, a private network so it's only available within this machine so we need the network um, command there and we'll be running private network and then we need the IP flag here and I'm just going to do 10.0.0.1 so that's just a private local address um, similar to the 192.168 block um, so don't worry, no one can access that. And then now we can jump into the provisioning. So we need to jump into the, the config block dot VM again and then dot provision. So the um, first flag is shell. That's what we'll be using today. Now Vagrant does support lots of different pro provide, uh, provisioning providers out of the box such as Chef, Ansible, uh, Docker and many many others please check out the documentation that I've left uh, in the description a link there so you can have a look um, and it all depends on what you need so you know if you're just learning or you're just generally interested in Vagrant then um, then Shell is, is perfectly fine to begin with but if you have maybe a, a large scale app or, or development environment then maybe it's worth looking into docker or chef or, or something similar you may already use one of those so we might look at that in future videos but today we're just looking at the the basic shell um, provisioner so the next flag we need is the inline one and what that means that will run this command um, as part of the vagrant up process so when we actually start the, the box um, and that will run sort of in, in parallel if you like. Um, so we won't actually have direct access to, to these commands. They'll just run automatically, which is fantastic, which is what we want. So we need to do um, this shell here, and then we're going to jump into the, the block. Sorry, I've just noticed a spelling mistake. Config, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the sudo apt get update 
as our first command that's important to update the, the packages and repositories and that kind of thing. And then we're going to do sudo apt get install minus y because we won't have access to, if there's any questions um, such as, you know, do you want to install this additional 30 meg worth of files or code or whatever. So that will automatically overwrite that for us and we're going to run nginx. So this time you can actually see um, the provisioning working. So we can actually save this now. So we're going to do Control O and then Enter, and Control and X to jump back into the terminal. And now we can run the vagrant up file uh, command. Sorry, and this is just going to go through um, the configuration we've just done and, and set up the box, which is pretty pretty default, you know, standard thing. Now, in the, you may notice here it just says you assign a static IP ending in dot one. That's true, but we're we don't need to worry about that. All it is talking about, if you have any issues with your networking, then it may be that IP address you need to change in the Vagrant file. So it's just going through setting it all up now. It's done the, the networking part here. It's just doing all the uh, SSH keys and, and, and the configuration and that kind of thing. So now it's run the shell provision, as you can see here, and this is the output that it's getting. So first of all, it's running the sudo apt-get update command, and this is what's happening now. So we're the first part of the, the configuration. And then we should now see the nginx uh, command somewhere here we go nginx common nginx core so now it's up installing all of that and because we've added the dash y flag into the uh, command that's that's working fine okay fantastic so that's all done now so the vagrant machine is is ready to up and run so the first thing i'd like to show you is is just the actual nginx software running so i'm going to run the sensible browser command I'm going to HTTP, I'm going to 10.0.0.1, which was the IP address we entered in. And if I run that now, there we go. You'll see, welcome to Nginx on Ubuntu. So that was really, really quick and simple and easy. And you can imagine how powerful this is depending on your, your use case, your scenario. And, um, and there you have it. So that's just a basic shell provisioning with a vagrant uh, just on a on a, a ubuntu virtual machine so thanks so much for watching guys i hope this uh, helped you out and, and please leave me some comments or some feedback um, or you know constructive criticism anything like that i'm grateful um, for everything and uh, yeah be sure to check out the description i'm going to fill that out with all the commands we've used today the code we've used today um, and some more information such as links to the official documentation that i think you'll find interesting so thanks again for watching and i will speak to you in the next video